So then, here is a collection of six of uh, the biggest old cellular telephones from from my collection. I've just phones that I've picked up, uh, car boot sales, junk shops, been given, never paid more than three or four pounds for each one. Um, but I've been collecting for a long time now. So I pulled a few out just to make a short video uh, of like the biggest ones. Um, just to sort of satisfy myself really just to just to get it done. It was one of these videos I had been meaning to do quickly. Okay, so I'll start at the back and then I'll work forward. So I'll take the, the hand portables out of the way for the minutes and that leaves what they called at the time the transportables, which were these. It was like a transportable phone as opposed to a mobile phone. Uh, they hadn't really gotten around to the word mobile yet. Uh, it was transportable and portable. I guess these other smaller handsets would have been classed as portable and these would be classed as transportable. So uh, I've only got two of these. Uh, this is one I found uh, last weekend at a car boot sale on the south coast. Uh, it's a Motorola 4800X. And according to the internet, that dates from 1989. It's quite a cool on this. I think uh, it's a bit better than this NEC that I can't find any information on um, on the internet. I guess it's, guess it's from a similar sort of time scale around sort of mid to late 80s. Um, this is quite a basic phone, as in it looks like it was just made to be like carried from one place to another. Uh, Usually, um, people I've bought these off in the past, have, or I've heard the same story off a few of them. They were either worked in the city or they worked in construction in the city or in the stock market in London. And that probably sounds about right because the, uh, the early mobile phones only worked within the radius of the M25 until a certain time. And then they got the transmitters in different places. So this one yeah just a basic foam you know clips off here so that would have been carried around it did have a big battery in but I got a bit nervous about it leaking and took that out a few years ago yeah. I went to find it for this video but I don't know where I put it anyway so this one's a bit this one's down as a transportable it's a Motorola 4800X and uh, dating that as 1989 this one's a bit cooler. It has a speaker here and a microphone here. So I guess you, this would have been carried to like a meeting and someone would have dialed someone up and put the phone down and then you would have had a meeting and everyone would have spoke and the microphone and the speaker and they would have been. And then when the meeting was finished, you know, you flip the end of it up and you carry it off. The battery's here. And then battery terms. It's a bit of a beast. Puts out 12 volts at 2.3 amps, which is pretty big. Uh, it's a nice phone that, it's in good condition. I guess the feeling this would have been a bit more expensive than that one and it's a little bit smaller. Yeah, I like that one, it sits well. So, that's the two transportables. So the next one, uh, okay, let's start from date and then work forward. So this is the one that most people tend to know. This is the Motorola 8500X from 1987. This is like the original brick phone with the breadstick aerial. And battery on the back. It's the battery. Uh, it does work, but I haven't charged it. Uh, that's the original charging base. Uh, I say it works, it switches on. That's all it's gonna do. Bit of a beast. So, also from 1987, we have the Nokia Cityman 1320. I love this phone. I prefer the shape. I mean, it's getting on for this. It's a tiny bit smaller than that. This is the very first phone that Nokia, you know, having just changed their original name to Nokia, put out. Uh, it's probably the one of the most well known. It's a nice, sort of, very angular 80s shape. Uh, small aerial. Uh, this one, uh, this one does turn on. It works quite well. I'll just 
whip over here. This is the original box for it here. This is the original box it came in. Um, that's the original, that's the spare battery, the natalator base, uh, the charger. I even have the paperwork that came with the phone. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's the, the Nokia City Man 320. And following on from that Nokia City Man, I have a Nokia City Man 100, which is this one. Uh, slightly updated, it's got a proper LCD screen, um, backlit buttons. Never actually had this one on, don't have a charger for it. Uh, the battery. What's the battery? A small aerial. Mm, I do quite like that one. This one is 1990, so that's kind of how far they came in uh, three years. And last but not least, I have the Motorola 8900 X2. And this is 1989, this one. So you can see how far Motorola came in just two years from that to that. So smaller area, it's a lighter phone. This is another charging base I've got that came with the phone. That sits in there. So there you go. I might do another video of sort of the next generation phones, the 90s phones on from here, like the classic Sony, Mars bar. And I've got some more interesting phones, the Swatch phones, the Sony phones. From that era, I should do a little video of those sometime. Okay, let's see what happens.